Rookie of the year. Mm. Um, really interesting. We have to remember, this was not a very heralded draft class <laughs> coming <laughs> into this. Uh, I want to start with Murph on this one because one thing we know about Murph, Murph has his eye on college basketball better than anybody <laughs> out there. And we also know that he loves LaMelo Ball. Um, I'm not saying that he's going to pick him. But, Murph, we know you you know the college basketball talent extremely well. Who do you see as a, the best bet to make an impact win rookie of the year for, in the NBA? Well, you know, it's a tough one. Um, you know, I, I got three guys who I kind of grouped together, and they're really, you know, probably among the top three uh, in terms of favorites in Vegas. So, yeah, LaMelo Ball um, – you know, he has all the, the skills and the tools to do it. Um, he's going to be on a pretty bad team, as we discussed before. Um, but, I, you know, he obviously people know who he, who he is. People care about him one way or the other. Uh, so he'll get, a, he'll get plenty of attention. So if he has a good season, at plus 400, he's a good bet. Anthony Edwards, who I wasn't really high on coming out of the draft, but, it, but I've been hearing nothing but great things uh, coming out of Minnesota about, you know, how, you know, how he's looking there. Watch the preseason game. Um, you know, hitting, hitting his shot, very aggressive, playing defense. So Anthony Edwards could also have a shot. And I think Obi Toppin from the Knicks, um, if he, you know, giving you a solid, something like a 15 and 7, 15 and 8, he might be able to, to, to do that also. Um, I'm trying to uh, – and then my sleeper would be Bol Bol, as, as I mentioned earlier in the show, who said – who's who's come out and stated that he's, he's trying to win that award. Obviously, he has some experience. He's kind of like – it's kind of like a Ben Simmons deal. Uh, is it re- is he really a rookie? Probably not, but technically he is. And uh, at plus two thousand, mm. um, I think that's worth looking at. Yeah, I like that. That's that's definitely one uh, to look into. I'm with you on Obi Top, and I'm just going to say my pick right now. I'm picking Obi Top, and I think he's he's safe. I think he's one of the rookies that's in a situation where he's ready to come in and and play. And I do think he's going to have an impact on the Knicks. So I definitely like um, I definitely like his value there. The other guy I would mention. Uh, is Denny Avdija for the Washington Wizards. Uh, he's looked really good in the preseason, can do a lot with the ball in his hands. Um, I think he's going to help a lot when Westbrook or Beal are not on the floor, uh, just in the way his game is and what he can do and help making other people better. So he's my dark horse. You can get him at plus 1,400, even plus 1,500 with points bet. So one to check out. Gerard, who do you like for uh, Rookie of the Year? You know, Rookie of the Year is such an interesting award just because, as we've been saying, like the draft class has been meh, and it's usually whoever scores the most points generally wins that, right? Um, LaMelo's going to have a lot of interest, and he's plus 400, so he is the favorite. So if you want to toss a little money that way, I think, you know, you won't get hurt. There. He'll certainly have the ball in his hands a lot. Uh, and he'll, as, I, as I mentioned before, and this matters, he'll be on Bleacher Report highlights literally every single night. So that, for whatever silliness he does now um <laughs> you know james wiseman to me his spread is so interesting from plus 450 to plus 950 depending on which betting house you look at now the reason why I, I'm, I'm just interested in this but i would stay away is because what that's telling me is that people don't know what they're looking at right now wiseman may be really good defensively but as a league we're hard at measuring what the value of defense is right so I, I just don't know. I just thought that that spread from 450 to 950 was really interesting. So, you know, again, if you got money, you feel like tossing around, you know, it's a little flyer on him. Who I love is uh, who you mentioned, Dexter, Obi Toppin. Look, the Knicks are going to be bad. He's going to have the ball in his hands a lot, I think. He's going to score a lot of points. I could see him getting 16 and 8, 16 and 9. I mean, like, if he's doing that, it's pretty good. So I like him at plus 650. Yeah, I think uh, the only guy who I'm actually confident in winning the award here is James Wiseman. He's the, really the only person that I think will win Rookie of the Year that I could actually feel safe betting my money on. Uh, LaMelo Ball is going to get a lot of attention, as Rob mentioned. Anthony Edwards, I don't quite know what to make of him yet, although you know I think it can work in Minnesota, but... I think James Wiseman is somebody who's going to have a very impactful rookie year. I could see him coming in, and I've been saying this for months now. I could see him walking into Golden State uh, even without Klay Thompson there and still averaging like 15 and 10. I feel like if you're a big who averages about 15 and 10 as a rookie, even if it's 12 and 10, that gives you a great shot at winning rookie of the year in a draft class that I don't really love. My sleeper would be Tyrese Halliburton, but he's in Sacramento, and I don't know what the fuck <laughs> they're doing. You know, it's like, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know how, like, is he going to play with De'Aaron Fox? I guess he is. And, like, is he going to get the t- touches? And then they got Bagley. I don't really know. Hassan Whiteside's back now. I don't know what's going on. So, Stay away. 
Yeah, so like I mean, maybe I'll put a dollar on Tyrese Halliburton, <laughs> but James James Wise is really the guy here uh, that I feel most confident in, and I could see a Obi Toppin scenario too. To your point, Dexter and Gerard and Jamal, I think you all made this point uh, about Obi Toppin sort of getting, you know, getting a lot of looks in New York City, similar to you know what we expected at RJ Barrett last year, uh, except you know I think it'll be better this year because they have Tom Thibodeau.